Hello students, I am Dr. Mrs. Survey. I teach SYBC Division B MMB. So the reason behind you are seeing me for the first time because I was down with COVID last month. Till now Varole sir has taught you from chapter 1 till the, chapter, till the topic before this. So I directly begin with what is called as total differentiation. Now when you are in FYBSC, I was taking FYBSC practical for Monday batch 11 o'clock and also 245 batch I used to come for some time and Wednesday I used to be there for 11 o'clock batch. So those students definitely must be knowing me. Others will get to know me now during this lectures or again whenever we are going to meet for the Google Meet class. Correct? So directly we will come down to what is called as total differentiation. Before that, you have been taught very well what is called as partial differentiation. So whenever you have a function f, which is a function of two variables, x and y, this I say my equation number one. Right? So you have been taught what is fx and what is fy. Now what is fx? A small change in f due to change in x. fy is what? A small change in f due to a small change in y. Correct? Now suppose or we say consider that x changes to a small x has got a small change called as delta x. Y has a small change or y changes by a amount delta y. Then even f will change by amount what is called as delta f. Correct? So, in that case, I can write that f plus delta f will be f of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y equation number 2. Earlier I had function f with two variables x and y as both change it changes with the small increment. Even this will change to this value. Correct? <coughs> Next, now what I want, I need the value of delta f. So what is delta f now? A small change in f. How will I find that value? Which is f x plus delta x, y plus delta y minus this f, which is f of x comma y equation number 3. Correct? Now what to say over here? That... <clears throat> We need to subtract and add. So, subtracting and adding which term? f of x comma y plus delta y in equation number 3. How, we, how that will do? We will write it this way. Delta f is equal to f first term as it is. So, I will say f of x plus delta x, y plus delta y as it is. Correct? Now subtracting. So minus. Which term? This term. So x comma y plus delta y subtracted. Then added. Adding. So plus f of x, y plus delta y and this term as it is. Equation number 4. Correct? Then what to do next now? Then I will take this two term in one bracket, these two terms in another bracket. So I will have delta f is equal to f x plus delta x y plus delta y plus f of x y plus delta y correct now to this term i will divide by delta x and also multiplied by delta x similarly to this term i will divide by delta y multiplied by delta y why delta x because in this case y is constant. 
but x is changing x to x plus delta x that's why divide by delta x multiply by delta x in this case x is same but y changing y y plus delta y therefore divide by multiply delta y here also delta y next now what we can say suppose the delta x and delta y are extremely small then what should happen delta x will become dx delta y will become dy and delta f will become df correct so when my delta x tends to 0 and my delta y will tend to 0 delta f will become what df so i will write df is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 f of x plus delta x y plus delta y divided by delta x into dx plus this term into this delta x I made it dx because of this condition extremely small similarly plus limit delta y tends to 0 bracket f x y plus delta y minus f of x y divided by delta y into dy equation number 6 correct so what is happening over here that <laughs> the bracketed term so this bracketed term so this df this term limit delta x tends to 0 <laughs> this term will be called as daba f by daba x dx this dx as it is this is delta x plus daba f by daba y dy or df is equal to fx dx plus fy dy so this df on the lhs is called as total differentiation of the function f this is my equation number seven correct so df is fx dx plus fy dy this dx is over here and this dy is over here correct now we'll try and solve one simple problem with this formula correct so to solve one problem i'll just give you <coughs> suppose instead of x y now my f is a function of two variables which is called as alpha beta correct and what is the function given to you that f is equal to alpha sin beta minus beta sin alpha this is the function given to you what i do want to do i want to find out df correct first i'll write down the formula what is the formula for df df is fx dx plus fy dy what is fx fx is daba f by daba x correct so what is my f function put the value alpha sine beta minus beta sine alpha correct so what will i get the value what is daba by daba even here i, I want to change so i will change fx dx now instead of this what i have to make now do the changes accordingly x will become x and y so wherever there is x will write alpha so here what will i write f alpha d alpha this is f beta d beta here also alpha here also alpha understood so double by double alpha, alpha sine beta should be how much sine beta 
minus beta cos alpha. Correct? And the this is my f alpha. And what is f beta? Which is daba f by daba beta. Put the value of f which is alpha sin beta minus beta sin alpha. This is what sin beta will be alpha cos beta minus sin. So I am ready with f alpha and f beta. So df will become what is the alpha value? Sin beta minus beta cos alpha d alpha plus what is f beta? f beta is alpha cos beta minus sin alpha d beta. Right? So this is my answer in short.